pray that the Lord will take charge. We pray that the Lord will supply seed for sowing in the hearts of his people. We pray that they shall be conversion, souls will be won for the kingdom of God. We pray also for each and every one of us that the Lord will bless us even this day. As we are gathered in this holy presence, He will heal our sicknesses. He will heal our diseases. Amen. He will bless and grant our heart intentions. And He will meet all those who have asked us to pray for them at the point of their needs. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. chapter 21 from verse 20 to 28 at that time Jesus said to his disciples when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies then know that its dissolution has come near then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountain and let those who are inside the city depart. And let not those who are out in the country enter it. For these are days of vengeance to fulfill all that is written. At last, for those who are with child, and for those who are nursing in those days. For great distress shall come upon the earth, and wrath upon these people. They will fall by the age of the sword, and be led captive among all nations. And Jerusalem will be trodden down by the Gentiles, until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. And there will be signs in sun and moon and stars. And upon the earth, great distress of nations. In the blazing day, are the roaring of the sea and the waves. Men fainting with fear and with foreboding of what is coming on the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now, when these things begin to take place, look up and raise up your hands because your redemption is drawing near. The Gospel of the Lord. God has placed a natural law in motion that kinds should beget their own kind. And so you find a good begetting another good. You find a particular seed bearing fruits of its kind. And so we have this common dictum. A lion begets a lion. A 
In this light, therefore, God is seen by the people of Israel as the biggest lion. It is why Jesus, our Lord and Master, in the book of Revelation, chapter 5, verse 5, is described as the lion of the tribe of Judah. And because God is seen as a mighty lion, one of his times, it also means that a child of God also is a lion. If God our Father is a big lion, all those who are his children are also lions. For he tells us, Be thou holy as thy God is holy. Leviticus chapter 19, verse number 1 and 2. It is in this light that when Daniel chose to live a righteous life and walk in the details of the Lord, he was another replica of God among the people. In the land, the human edict was promulgated. Do not worship the living God, bow to my records. But because of Daniel's affinity to the living God, his God. God of the living, God of heaven and earth, he worshiped and he prayed to three times in him. And his adversaries, his enemies, called up with him. And he was reported to the authorities of the time. Punishment was, he would die. By being eaten, by liars who were kept as tarts in order to destroy all those who will contradict the command of the king. The when Daniel was thrown in the lion's den, we are told that he was unhurt. The lions looked at him and they looked at him with spiritual eyes. When they looked at Daniel, they saw another lion. Because Daniel is the son of a lion. So he's begotten by a lion and so he cannot be any other than a lion. A lion does not attack a lion. And so they couldn't attack him. He was saved. By God, he who is the lion, the Odubu Anya, the evil scrolling. But as soon as those who were not of the Lord's talk, those who were not of God, those who did not pay attention to the living God, those who were not born of a proof, as soon as they were true in the lion's den, we are told that hardly had they landed that the lions finished them. They wished Daniel bad. They wished the child of God bad. But that badness came upon them. Does not the word of God says in the book of Psalm 57, verse number 6. That because God is with his own, he will dig a pit for him to fall. But inside of that pit, you will fall yourself. Psalm 57, verse number 6. 
child of the living God. I pray you bring news this day. Because you are of God, because of you are of God's extraction, God's period, power anointing, leans on you, and so you are also another lion. Troubles we come, challenges we come. They will surround you by all sides. But because you are with God, why with God is the journey? Because you are with God, child of the living God, you will triumph over those challenges. Amen. Amen. Daddy read unto his God. Even when it appeared, he was just a moon. He heard with God, and at the end, there was a decree. Let all worship the God of Daniel. Are you about to backslide? Because all have left you in doing good. Hold on. In doing good, child of the living God, I do not join the band welcome. Hold on, child of the living God, in doing good. And do not say here, if you cannot be them, join them. Daniel never did that. At the time he was as Eve, he was one and alone in the worship of Yahweh. All had gone the other side, but he stood fame, and at the end, God vindicated him. Many times, our energies to do good gets weaker when we see everybody doing the opposite, and it appears we are a lot on the path of good. We are tempted to say, oh, if I cannot win them over, if I cannot beat them, let me also join them. No, child of the living God, even if you cannot beat them, stand in righteousness, stand on the way of right, stand in doing good. So was the testimony of Daniel. And at the end, Daniel was made to be a champion because it was a declaration. Let all worship the God. Daniel. Let us stand, children of the living God, in right, in righteousness, even if it appears we are a no to it. Let us all join the band welcome. Let us stand, children of the living God, in truth, in sincerity. Let us stand, children of the living God, in doing that which is right. We live at the time. Corruption is so much. We live at the time that it appears there is no other family that you can decide to be an oasis, child of the living God in the desert. You can decide to be an oasis in the desert. You can be an honest man, even in this corrupt world. You can be a true man, even in this world that there is no truth. Children of the living God, you can do it. And at the end, God will honor you. We pray in the name of Jesus that even as the Lord honored Daniel, so as you persevere in doing that which is right, in doing that which is good, God will honor you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yeah. We pray that as we persevere in doing right, God will honor us suddenly through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yeah. We pray that may the Lord Bless his word in us and may he honor us even as we strive in doing his will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us arise and let the mighty God our Father, Father of our Lord Jesus, we lift up Lord God, his word has opened to you. We pray the mighty name of your only begotten Son. To pour out the power of thy Holy Spirit. But pour this word as the Lord God that this word has be holy. Bless the Lord our God this word as your church takes of me by the power of thy Holy Spirit. Let thy Holy Spirit come upon this word as to make this word as holy, Lord our God, we pray. Power of God's Spirit, come from the four corners of the earth. Take over the essence and the soul of these waters to bless and to make these waters holy. Bless the Lord our God these waters by the power of the anointing of the living God. Your anointing of God, God brings with you. Isaiah chapter 10, verse number 27. On that day, the anointing of the Lord will come and every yoke of God will be broken. Let the power of God of your anointing take over the essence and the soul of this water, Lord God, we pray. Let the power of God of your anointing take over the essence and the
the soul this word that you are coming to bring. Power of God's anointing. Possess this word that's in the name of Jesus Christ alone. Take over from the God of your anointing. And grace of the Lord of God. That spirit was upon the world. Father, Lord God, we pray that the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord God, we come upon this word that's Lord God once more. In the name of Jesus Christ, the only God is Son. Bless Lord God, this word that's made this word that's powerful, Lord God, God, God engage. Let the Lord God, this word that's powerful, Lord God, engage. Let Lord God, against all forces and powers of darkness. Bless Lord God, this word that's by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, all this word that's mightily engage. Let Lord God, in the spiritual, let the Lord God, this word that's highly spiritualized by the power of the Spirit of the living God. By the power of the blood of Jesus, the Lord. By the fire of the Holy Spirit, take over this word as we pray. Power of God's Spirit, take over the waters. Power of the blood of Jesus, come upon this word as we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, your only God is so. We lay to allow God this word as we pray. Let the fire, Lord, let the Holy Ghost come upon this word as we pray. Let the fire, Lord, the Holy Ghost, Lord God, come upon this word as we pray. You are not God who comes to the fire. You are God who comes to the fire. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit come upon this word as we pray. Father, Come upon the sun in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord, we pray. Bless Lord God the Son. By the power of the blood of Jesus the Lord. The blood of God, the blood of God of Jesus. Take over the sun, we pray. Power of the blood of Jesus. Take over the sun, we pray. Power of the blood of Jesus. Spiritualize the sun, we pray. Make the sun take weapon in the spirit. I guess your forces are powers of God. Take over the God, the sun take weapon in the sun. And these waters. Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray with our mother Mary saying, Amen.
Oh, oh, oh.